Psychotronic Golgotha by N. I. Anissimov, 1999 Mind Justice Homepage 25 pages of the 72-page book, generously translated by Ramon Rulas, copyright. The Russian author, N. I. Anissimov has been interviewed in several mainstream Russian press articles in the 1990s as the spokesman for a Russian group of mind control or psychotronic victims. He has appeared in the 1998 ZDF German TV documentary, Zombies of Russia. Anisimov has been quoted by Foreign Military Studies Office, military analyst, Timothy L. Thomas in the parameters, the United States Army War College Quarterly Volume XXVIII, No. 1, Spring 1998 article, The Mind Has No Firewall. Anisimov describes the history of psychotronic weapons, the weapon effects, who is targeted in illegal experiments in Russia, who is developing the weapons and the extent of the problem. Table of Contents Psychotronic Weapons Humanitarian Weapons, A Plague of the 20th Century Scientific Cannibalism, Psychotronic Weapons, and Diabolical Technologies Totalitarian Sex, A Range for Testing Psychotronic Weapons Rights Defenders Anticipate, Watching Television is Dangerous Wizards, Witches, and Other Evils Under the Roof of the Government Administration Aliens, Baba Yaga and Other Devil Rise Contemporary Exotic Types of Weapons The Computer is Destroying Manking Certainty incomplete non-punishment or a bandit's farce. Vampires in white dressing gowns. Yellow gulag and psychotronic war. Towards a backward thinking in the name of stopping the biorobotizational madness. KPSS Central Committee and KGB plan, psychotronic Golgotha. Your brain, your private and intimate life are under the control of the secret service. The White House in a psychotronic dimension. CH hour asterisk. Dispassionate codes strike out in alarm. Customers and Manufacturers The Conducting of Political and Governmental Secret Terrorism Crazy Little Vodka An Electronic God Blindly Punishes and Pardons Free Will for Citizens Democratic Elections Are Impossible Under Conditions of Psychotronic Applications on the Population On the Quiet to the Authorities On the Scenario of the Model of the Puppet Theater Murder Will Out The Threat to National Security Demands the Urgent Adoption of Laws Notes on the sources of information used in this book. Psychotronic Weapons At the dawn of the scientific technical progress, dictators and rulers of totalitarian governments dreamt about how to embody the most ancient occult sciences and hidden potentials of mankind's psyche in technical weapons in order to, with their help, make their own populations obediently conformist, blindly fulfilling the wishes of the dictator and his associates. They even cherished monstrous ideas, after the creation of superweapons, of using these for the enslavement of other governments and of becoming rulers of the world. With the creation of such types of weapons the military has been receiving the ideal weapon of mass enslavement and destruction, and the secret services an ideal zombie agent capable, without portable radio sets and guns, of obtaining and conveying secret information. But if at the end of the past century, the embodiment into life of these dreams given the weak development of technology was not possible, then already by the start of the 20th century, when scientific technological progress was becoming intensively developed, these dreams came to be realized into practice. One of the founding fathers of these national psychotronic weapons became the academician B. Bekterev. In 1925 B. Bekterev's group conducted the first experiments on the collective suggestion of emotions over a distance. Mass suggestion was achieved with the radio set. A considerable contribution in the creation of these diabolical weapons was introduced by the daughter of F. Jerzhenskovo M. Talza and the docent D. Luntz. They were engaged in the development of combined psychotronic technologies that were based on imported special narcotic preparations and technical apparatuses. In the capacity of guinea pigs they employed prisoners of Lubjanka and patients of the psychiatric institutions. With the invention of the television, there appeared the possibility of the mass psychotronic treatment of the population by mean of television sets. After the fall of fascist Germany, the scientific research in the area of the creation of psychotechnological weapons fell into the hands of the Soviet military and the Czechists, and they gave a significant push to the creation of national psychotronic weapons. At the end of 50 years, contemporary national psychotronic weapons emerged from the laboratories of the secret NII and began to appear in the arsenals of the secret service and the military. At the same time, in the list of knowledge prohibited from publication, the point was introduced regarding the prohibition of the open publication of material about technical devices intended for influencing of the behavioral functions of a person and about the possibility of controlling the behavior of a person. 
At the end of 70 years, psychotronic weapons started to come off the conveyors of assembly lines of secret factories to be used against the population on a mass scale. At the end of 80 years, the first rights defense movement in the country came to be created, leading to the uneven struggle against the monstrous criminals of the century. Humanitarian Weapons A Plague from the 20th Century Psychotronic weapons are related to one of the types of the so-called non-lethal weapons. Their invisible components can kill at a distance, imitating or causing any chronic illness, they can make a person a criminal or irresponsible, create aviation, railroad or automobile accidents in a matter of seconds, destroy fundamental structures, destroy, create or provoke any climatic cataclysm, control the most complex instrument or mechanism, control the behavior of people and any biological object and change the world view of the population. Inquiry. Non-lethal weapons are composed of the fourth type. The first type are taken from a series of military technologies and structures along the path to changing the molecular structure of material, the reduction of its stability, the altering of physical chemical properties, but also to put out of service any apparatus or any mechanism by destroying the functioning of radioelectronic devices. The second type put out of it order only living powers, permitting the destruction of the psyches of the enemy, the coordination of body movement, muscular tone, the change in the functioning of various systems of the body, among them the cardiovascular system and visual apparatus. Radio sound is employed that is capable of lulling to sleep large contingents of enemy troops and of optical generating capabilities for the projecting into the atmosphere holographic monstrous images to demoralize enemy soldiers. Holographic images of the Grim Reaper and armadas of UFOs, an artificially created crimson red setting sun and the appearance of images of the moon during the daytime, or artificially created unpleasant climatic conditions in specific places where military activities are underway, undo the psychological processing of the enemy and create panic. With overdoses of the given effects are caused trauma to organs that are not treatable, mental damage that is not treatable, and an increase in the number of invalids. To the third type are related psychotronic weapons. The fourth types are based on anti-gravitational technology. The principle of gravitational types of non-lethal weapons consists in that any object can be artificially deprived of the Earth's natural attraction and become an obedient toy in the hands of an operator sitting at the control panel of the gravitational weapons. Military technologies created on anti-gravitational technology possess the highest maneuverability of any of the most modern and exotic weapons. The first and second types of non-lethal weapons at the end are not classified, but the third and fourth from previously are officially considered secret. More than 20 years ago, starting with the first secret research in the area of the creation of non-lethal weapons, the government and the secret services foresaw with concern that in the case of even the minimal declassification, Information about similar types of research carried distortions or a veiled nature that did not cause the international society to prick up its ears in concern. At the present time, such a time has arrived. And military scientists connected to its development, complying with secret directives, attempt to present its type almost as a blessing for mankind, fondly call their eccentric weapons non-lethal, bloodless weapons or a humanitarian bomb. With this they are attempting to pass themselves off as upright, infallible citizens, pretending to be generally respectable and accountable. This untruthful information and cynicism to the highest degree, is easily fed through several of means of mass information, in many cases achieving the aim of taking hold in the minds of uninformed citizens, and serves as a preventive defense for the criminals who are employing these types of weapons against the population on a mass scale. In connection with these and a host of other circumstances, Today non-lethal weapons do not come under even one of the international conventions which would prohibit the development, accumulation, and applications of such types of weapons. Scientific Cannibalism, Psychotronic Weapons, and Diabolical Technologies Inquiry The direction of secret scientific research of institutes that are working on the creation and perfection of psychotronic weapons. Physics Biophysics Biochemistry Psychobiophysics Biocybernetics Radioelectronics Psychotronics Biology Medicine Outer Space Secret NII is taking on the following general tasks, geopolitical, ideological, military, police law enforcement, medical biological, scientific research, production farming, the expert appraisal of conducting a psychotronic war. Narrow high specialization development of technological means of distant control and management of the thought processes of humans. The perfection of technologically distant control of the behavior and organisms of man with the help of apparatuses used in the capacity of directing sources of electromagnetic, magnetic fields and acoustic waves. 
The use of telekinesis of a tectronic character for the influencing of a technological system. The development of devices with the aim of the distant control of behavior of humans, with the use of the implanting into the brain and body of electronic data. Distant control of the behavior of people with the use of pharmacological means along these schemes, introduction in the human body of pharmacological means, behavior modification, and afterwards the distance influencing by psychotronic apparatuses for the modification of the body of humans. The perfection of technological, distant transporting into the body of a bio-object chemical and other object matter. The distant control of people with the use of radio and television. The creation of a bio-robot. The perfection of technology for erasing information from the brain. The distant physical and biological influencing of a living organism by electromagnetic, magnetic fields and acoustical waves. The distant influencing of particular factors of the surrounding environment and on the growth of animals and humans. Geopolitical tasks, development of systems of distant control of third countries, expert appraisals of the creation of geopolitical hotbeds of tension and their location. Ideological tasks, the distant influencing of populations with the aim of the creation of a law-abiding society loyal to the existing governmental order and political system. Military tasks, expert appraisals of the conducting of psychotronic war against enemy governments, technological defense of troops and populations from the destructive factors of psychotronic weapons, coordination of the applications of psychotronic weapons with other types of non-lethal weapons, the coordination of psychotronic weapons with other types of contemporary weapons, the coordination of army units. Police, law enforcement, tasks, control and management of criminal group and of individual criminals, investigations and operational activities, suppression of protests and demonstrations, coordination of the secret services. Medical biological tasks, new technological treatment of illnesses with the use of psychotronic apparatuses and pharmacological means, the distant control of the health of the population, the distant control and management of people with mental deviations, the distant alteration of individuals at the genetic and psychophysical level. Space tasks, the taking out into outer space of psychotronic weapons, apparatuses, with the aim of controlling and managing the behavior of the population, the distant control and management of cosmonauts. Scientific research tasks, the development of new technologies of psychotronic weapons and psychotronic apparatuses, their interaction with the surrounding environment and pharmacological means. Manufacturing farming tasks, the distant automatization of manufacturing farming activities, the distant control of city communications and transportation. Agricultural tasks, increase crop yields, control and management livestock. Geological tasks, the distant search for useful minerals. Climatic tasks, the distant control of annual conditions and cataclysms. According to information received from the Military History Academy, the period preceding the Second World War was a big period of time when the Soviet and German military scientists jointly developed chemical weapons, and in secret laboratories of the town of Valeske, Shikhaini 1, they closely collaborated in the creation of weapons of psychotechnology. Those who know are few that in the years 20 to 27 in the territory of the Soviet Union there were numerous joint Soviet-German aviation and armory schools in which future fascists of the Axis were trained in military skills. The Military History Academy named several such sites. For example, in the town of Lipkake there was located the Joint Soviet-German Aviation School, and in Saratov region, the Joint Soviet-German Armory School. After the start of the Second World War, interest in the creation of weapons of psychotechnology enveloped practically all the military circles of the leading countries of the world. At the end of 40 years, applying the received developments, the military scientists of many countries of the world conducted innumerable tests on the creation of universal narcotics with the aid of which it would be possible to control the behavior of men. In the end, such a preparation was created. It was called LSD. In the year 1951 the Swiss company Condor, having received the monopoly rights to its production, illegally sold the Soviet Union 50 million doses of the narcotic which were put into use immediately. There is information that already the end of 50 years, for these very same goals, the Soviet scientists created an entire series of national, unique pharmacological preparations behavior modifiers of special gases and chemical means. It is probably not difficult to figure out who were their customers and where they found their application. In the following years, special pharmacological centers continued to create still newer and newer behavior modifiers. Towards the end of 70 years, their production was received to a sufficiently wide extent and led to a full secret classification of military installations that were engaged in its production. There is information that medical workers employed at the Secret Service and VPK, 
with the conducting of surgical operations and vaccinations of the population, introduce into the bodies of patients, microschematic records that can be readily inserted into epidemic needles. After the introduction of such microschemes, the person becomes a radio-controlled biorobot. According to confidential information, nearly 30% of the population of the former Soviet Union carry in their bodies these microschemes. Psychotronic weapons are a complex of unique electronic irradiating apparatuses capable, over a large distance, of controlling the psychophysical activities of a person, purposefully destroying his health. Psychotronic weapons are lofty, rational weapons which are applied in combination with other types of non-lethal weapons and psychotechnological weapons. Inquiry, in the year 1995, at Prospect Mir, No. 36, in the Moscow chapter of the Information Center for the Rights of Man, Direction, Defending the Citizen from Psychotronic Terrorism, there took place a colloquium of scientists at which was adopted the decision, in connection with the classification of weapons of psychotechnology and the confusion about the terminology, all types and sorts of weapons capable of distantly controlling the psychophysical activities of a person, which can change his surrounding environment when applied jointly, are called psychotronic weapons. Destructive factors of psychotronic weapons are, torsion generators, SVCH generators, lasers, acoustic and microwave apparatuses used as powerful energy sources for stationary and portable psychotronic stations located on Earth and taken into outer space, as well as in the surrounding environment, and also chemical and gaseous means. Focusing types of irradiations without hindrance, without losing the given strength, freely penetrate through any barrier and with a high degree of accuracy in striking the chosen victim at any distance. The effects are realized at the cellular molecular level by methods of the psychophysical treatment of the brain and organs of persons along the principle of associative and neurolinguistic psychoprogramming with the application of radioacoustic effects and distance tomography. With psychotronic complexes are controlled super IBM and staff operators. Computer psychoprogramming is conducted along the following schemes, operator computer victim and in the reverse sequence, victim computer operator. The exchange of information along these schemes carries the name biofeedback ties, BOSS. The effects exerted on a person can be realized in a positive, negative, or a neutral regime. The irradiative components of the weapons can change the indicated instruments and chemical reactions that allow the terrorists a sufficient length of time to escape detection and punishment. There exist three types of psychotronic influencing on a person, secret, open, and combined. With the secret influencing the victim does not know and does not even suspect that his brain and organs are being subjected to distant influencing. All external thought transmissions he takes as being his own, all conditions of illness are related to as natural illnesses and to the poor state of his health. Such a person victim, being under influencing through his psyche, can commit any crime that comes to his mind, under the manipulation of the brain, he adheres to one and then to another political grouping. It is easy to lead such a person victim type to any psychological state, a state of irresponsibility, and to imitate in the victim any mental illness. With this the person will think that he himself achieved the criminal thoughts that came to his mind, that he himself has such and such a political viewpoint and persuasion, that he himself became ill from an illness. Such a person is a biorobot since he, no one knows why, fulfills the wishes of the criminal. Such a person biorobot is the greatest danger for any society. Secret methods of influencing are the basis for controlling a large mass of the population. With the open method of influencing, the person victim knows and understands that his brain and organisms are being subjected to psychotronic influencing. To such a person is artificially attached and grafted special systems of arrangement, being capable of extracting from his brain and introducing into him information at the speed of his psychoprogramming, and in several cases also capable of reprogramming in full or partially rebuilding his personality and his biorobotization. The person victim intended for this type of goal very often cannot distinguish his own thoughts from those artificially introduced. But usually the biorobots are created with the application on the victim of secret influencing. Besides secret and open methods, there exists also the combined method, when the brain of the victim is under secret influencing while the body is under open influencing. Open and combined influencing are realized by methods of manipulation of the judgment on the principle of yes-no, manipulation of the psyche in conjunction with manipulation of functions of internal organs and of the whole body. Usually for the victims of open and combined influencing are brought in operators creating the newest type of psychotronic weapons and who are conducting medical biological and pharmacological experiments. For the guaranteeing of safety of psychotronic technology they have two basic types of defenses the so-called alibis. 
The first type of defense consists in the fact that open and combined influencing are realized along the principle of studied clinical illnesses. Usually this type of defense is used by the involved terrorist in the cases that the victim turns to law enforcement organizations and to doctors. As a rule, after the becoming familiar with them, the victim ends up in a psychiatric hospital, and upon leaving the victim forever has acquired the status of an insane person with the surety that the condition will be explained on a psychiatric basis. The second type of defense consists in that the capabilities of the weapons momentarily are attached to any person appearing with the victim in connection with the resulting changes in his thinking and his behavior. As a result of employing this type of defense, officials, even if they are not connected to the criminals, are not going to correctly and logically perceive information received by them from the person undergoing the experimentation. For a more hopeful guarantee of an alibi, and for the realization of a specific determined program, the victim is previously worked on by secret methods. Unnoticed, they attach to his biofields and they study his intellect, his psychological type and, depending on the program to follow, artificially induce in him various illnesses of his internal organs they create conflicting situations in daily life and at work which, during the time of open and combined influencing, will also serve to veil it. With the realization of influencing and terror, the criminals practically in all cases follow a basic rule, all artificially created situations should have a reason and consequences, even if the artificially created reasons appear absurd and the consequences unnatural. There exist three stages of psychoprogramming. The first stage control of the brain. The second stage, control of the psychophysical activities of the person. And the third stage the elimination of the person under experimentation. To the third stage terrorists come running in the following cases, the danger of being exposed, worked out material, fear, and the artificial stabilization of the size of the population. The elimination could be realized by traditional, as well as by non-traditional methods. All national psychotronic programs carry a coded name zombie. But if earlier the term zombie meant a person by a robot whose brain had been rigidly coded with the help of narcotics and special psychological influencing, then in contemporary interpretation zombie implies an abbreviation which is deciphered as, secret object of medical biological research. Why secret? This is because of the costs of the person under testing speaking to those around him about what is going on with him, as in matters that appear in all the above described types of defenses. The person under testing, being under the control and command via the psyche, is outwardly little different from ordinary people. Psychotronic terrorists vigilantly track him in order to ensure that he remains secret up to his very death. Psychotronic weapons by their own specifications are at the root different from other types of weapons. If an automatic Kalashnikov could have been invented, approved, and perfected at the shooting range, then for the development of psychotronic weapons people donors are constantly required. Any person could become a donor if his intellect and physical characteristics are required by the terrorists. The selection of donors is achieved according to the following principle, it is known that human society is composed of specific groups with their own intellects and psychological types. Every person is a representative of such a group. The selection of donors for open psychoprogramming and the treatment of him with psychotechnology could secretly control the behavior of the entire group and consequently all the society in its entirety. But psychotronic weapons have long ago emerged from the testing stages. They were transformed into monstrous weapons of mass repression, destruction, and elimination. Psychotronic military weapons are called super weapons, ultra weapons weapons of the fifth generation. Inquiry. In the former USSR over the course of more than 30 years there has been conducted a secret undeclared psychotronic war by the communist regime and its followers against its people. At the present time in records of governmental departments, rights defense organizations, and in means of mass communication, there exist more than one million victims of open psychotronic terror and psychotronic influencing. Usually people who become victims are gifted people not loyal to the regime, servicemen from military subdivisions, athletes, those held in prisons and concentration camps, people who make up the ranks of dispensaries, without exception prisoners of psychiatric hospitals, and also the population in free behavior. For the covering up of the crimes and for the shifting of the responsibility to the USA and mafia organizations, to open psychotronic terror are also subjected portions of the communists and employees of the secret service. Psychotronic terror, realized openly in relation to the selected victims is conducted every second, around the clock and over the course of many years along the principle of the activities of an executioner in the Middle Ages torture chambers and works of researchers of the VCHK KGB in communist torture chambers in the same terrible years of the history of our much suffering country.
Contemporary executioners embody in the technology of psychotronic weapons the entire enormous arsenal of torture handicraft. For terrorists the person under testing represents an ideal target upon which the invisible ray's impulses fall, inflicting traumatic blows. Sometimes in sadistic ecstasy, the terrorists with particular cruelty torture their victims for a sufficiently long enough time. The brain jailers climb Samos Jido intimately and secretly, with electronic ray whips, punishing him for disobedience. With the shouts of the defenseless person for help, he is appraised by the law enforcement agencies and those around him as a raving lunatic. There is created a distinctive psychotronic hood, electronic ray tentacles which entirely keep their own victims in firm isolation from the rest of the world around him. Distant control and the constant stimulation of important life-sustaining areas of the brain and organs allows for a quick getaway for the killers of the person under testing. That line is not clear, as a rule the terrorists treat the entire genetic tree of the selected victim. But if the very victim is terrorized by the open method, then his immediate family and his relatives are treated secretly along a more merciful program in which there prevail directions for misunderstood problems. Not positive re, what is in brackets. With the realization of the psycho-programming and terror, the criminals strictly adhere to the basic principle of psycho-com-fascism which consists of the gradual suppression and destruction of the person in a psycho-physical plan, as with the personality and the destruction of his eye. If the person possesses any positive qualities, then he is converted into the total opposite. For example, if the person possesses a good intellect then he is transformed into a totally degraded person, athletes are transformed into invalids, beauties into uglies, sociable people into reserved persons, and neat persons are changed to untidy people, etc. Inquiry Results of scientific research in the area of the study of influences of electromagnetic fields and acoustic waves on the psychosomatics of a person completely coincide with the sensations of victims of psychotronic weapons. In both cases there is present, tightness and sharp head pains, dizziness, pressure on the eardrums, oscillations, vibrations, of the walls of the peritoneum and ribcage and of individual groups of muscles, dryness of the mouth, pain in teeth and gums, difficulty swallowing, dampness in the hands, muscle pains and aching bones, tremors of the extremities, painful sensations in the sex organs and anus, arousal of sex organs, depression of sex organs, arrhythmia, an increase or decrease in arterial blood pressure, a decrease in visual acuity, coughing, an increase or decrease of the body temperature, coma, itching, bursting of tissue, modulation of speech, occurrences of fears, anxiety, etc. With the purposeful irradiation, the above described sensations can easily be significantly controlled in their expansion, purposefully influencing any portion of the brain and organs in order to use the person in the capacity of a radio-controlled model. The list of artificially created illnesses and damage to the health of the person undergoing testing completely coincide with the list of illnesses and damages to the health of the person subjected to electromagnetic and acoustic irradiation. According to this list, the most widespread are, malignant new growths, damage to the cardiovascular system, coagulation or disintegration of the blood, illnesses of the brain, a functional change or a destruction up to the point of being lethal in the peripheral and central nervous systems, eye illnesses, illnesses involving the sex organs, a deterioration of movement support apparatus, a breakdown of the rib cage, damage or rupture of organs, muscle atrophy, a destruction of the endocrine system, damage to the skin, trophy chesky damage hair loss, brittleness of the nails, etc. Information for consideration. Practically all technologies for psychoprogramming of people foresee compulsory harsh treatment of the psychoenergetic centers man, included among these, the heart, organs of inclination asterisk in the peritoneal area, sex organs, prostate gland, the womb and its appendages, the spine, the cerebellum, the left and right hemispheres of the brain, the frontal lobe, visual and other sense organs and the vocal cords. Inquiry According to official statistics in the countries of the former USSR, there is practically not even one person who did not suffer from some kind of chronic illness. The most common are composed of illnesses of organs of inclination asterisk in the pelvic area, mental and nervous disorders, oncological and cardiovascular illnesses and illnesses of the eyes and of the movement support apparatus. Totalitarian Sex, Laboratories for Testing Psychotronic Weapons The most significant example of the applications of psychotronic weapons on a mass scale would be served by the recent exposure of the totalitarian sect the White Brotherhood, financed by the Minister of Defense and the KGB FSB. The Minister of Justice of the country of the former USSR, Russian Federation, 
liberally registers hundreds of totalitarian sects supplying them with psychotronic weapons, among which are the international terrorist sects of Ahum Sinrike, having the most technical ties with the Russian secret service and military. This sect conducted mass zombification of populations, employing the Russian radio station Majak. The leaders of the sect, complying with the directives from the military and secret service and from the powers that be, crippled hundreds of thousands of children, transforming them into biorobots. In the terrorist country of the former USSR, there functioned hundreds of secret service schools, the students of which were subjected to neurolinguistic programming. Rights defenders warn that watching television is dangerous. Over the course of several decades, for the creation of a conformist obedient population are used the means of mass communication, radio, television, and cinematography. Biosignals built into the frames of motion picture and texts unnoticeably influence the subconscious of a person and form in the population a definite stereotypical worldview, depending on the political goals of those who are in power. Such type of treatment of the population has for a long time and successfully been employed for control by the KGB FSB. In the USA and Japan, the employment of the means of mass information for the modification of the behavior of the population is prohibited, since the effects of bioelectronic signals on the brain and organs of the body of a person inflict irreparable damage to his health, permitting the transformation of people into biorobots and represent an infringement of the rights of people. In recent times, subliminal cassettes have appeared in commercial sets on which special methods of recording texts influence the subconscious of a person and help to formulate his worldview. Wizards, witches, and other evils under the roof of the government administration. In the former USSR, Russian Federation, in only one year-1988 there appeared thousands of treatment centers for non-traditional medicine, equipped with ultra-modern medical and psychotronic apparatuses issued out of secret factories. These centers widely use occult sciences which represent the basis of psychotronic technology. As a rule, the heads of these centers were secret, but the service personnel each had two kinds of higher education medical and technological. Surely it would not be hard to surmise where, when, and by whom were created these unique apparatuses. For example, medical scientist and at the same time a physic I Smirnov conducted experiments on prisoners from one of the psychiatric treatment centers in Moscow with the use of a psychotronic generator, the director of IKE Maso AMNUSSR, the academician V. Kaznachev and his colleagues conducted medical biological technological experiments on patients of their clinic and population of the town of Novosibirsk, while the academician Ann Bektereva and her colleagues on patients of a clinic. Having her and its leadership at her Mosk center, etc. Centers, with the blessings of the Minister of Health, would daily turn out thousands of zombie retransmitters with sorcerer diplomas in their pockets. I think this is what is meant re, most center. The teleseances of Kashpirovsky, Kumaka and other miracle workers enter into a single global system of developers of psychotronic weapons and are nothing other than obedient toys in the hands of criminals, maniacs sitting at the controls of technological psychotronic weapons. If anyone has any doubts as to the accuracy of the above written lines, then the person reading them should consider Kashpirovsky and others, or wizards, and witches, or sorcerers and magicians, and hang their images either next to Baba Yagi or with Nikolai Ogodnik. Giving out licenses to characters supposedly possessing magical charms, the leadership of the Ministry of Health simultaneously negates any possibility of manipulating people. Few of those from all who make declarations about any external influencing having effects on them, the doctors again, with the blessings of the Ministry of Health, subject them to forced treatment in psychiatric stations where they conduct the most dreadful psychiatric diagnosis. The inadequateness and illogicalness of such operations of these highest doctors not only do not fall under any kind of logic but also usually not even by most primitive of concepts. In connection with this, the conclusion suggests itself, that governmental departments, called upon to stand as the guardian of the health of the people, appear to be direct participants in these abominable crimes.